This is the Antip 007, and it's one of my favorite Bluetooth speaker categories, tabletop speakers. I love the minimalist design. There is nothing on the front of this speaker. It is just speaker grill and nothing else. The entire package is wrapped in a black faux leather finish. I do have mixed feelings about the buttons. On one hand, we have all of the speaker real estate and we are still doubling up on the button functionality. On the other hand, it is white lettering on black buttons and at least that's readable. This device does support the nearly ubiquitous Bluetooth speaker control standard with play pause, track and volume controls here, power button here, and the mode and bass boost switch here. This is the battery level indicator. With only a three hour charge, this speaker is rated for 30 hours of playback. This is your Bluetooth indicator light. It is flashing because I am not currently connected to a Bluetooth source. The light above would be glowing red if I was connected to a power source. Behind this panel, we have a USB-C charging port, U-Drive port, three and a half millimeter auxiliary input, headphone jack, and microphone port. The one missing feature here is the TF card slot. Yes, you can stick a TF card into a U-Drive adapter, but if you do that, there is no closing this thing. The U-Drive works well. It remembers the last song you were on when you use the U-Drive. The three and a half millimeter input works great. The headphone jack works well. It sounds good. It's not that loud. It's loud enough, but it's there's no danger of hearing loss here. I didn't have a chance to try the microphone input. My karaoke microphones are all quarter inch adapters and I just, I don't, I don't have one that would work here. I don't have any specifications on the drivers they're using. From what I can tell, in the center they have two one inch silk dome tweeters and then on either side of those they have a two inch woofer and a bass reflex port in the back. Whenever I test a new speaker, I use the same playlist. It's basically a torture test so that I can compare the abilities of multiple speakers. The first song on my playlist has deep pounding bass. It easily separates a good speaker from a bad speaker. And when I tried it on the Antip 007, it failed miserably at first. But that's when I discovered that the default behavior for this speaker is bass boost on. Turn this off if, you're, if your song already has tons of bass. It doesn't need it. This speaker has plenty of bass. Bass boost is just for those other songs. This speaker was designed with bass in mind. There are basically two options, a lot of bass and way too much bass. I'm not complaining, I like bass, but I think it could really use an equalizer. At higher volumes, you can experience some distortion in the tweeters. 60 watts, is it enough? Depends on the size of your room and your personal preference. For a small room, a medium sized room, yeah, it's probably loud enough. A large room, outdoors, mm, maybe not. And there is no TWS mode, so you can't double it by getting two of these. Look, I think everyone should have a tabletop Bluetooth speaker in their home, whether it's on your side table, your mantelpiece, your kitchen, your bedroom, whatever. I think these add a sense of style and sophistication to any living space. The Antip 007, it looks good, it sounds good, and it's got an incredibly attractive price. I'm going to give this speaker a four out of five stars just because I want it to have a TF card slot. And the quarter inch microphone jack just doesn't work for me. Minor things maybe, but uh, you gotta draw the line somewhere. Four out of five stars, thanks for stopping by. Thank you.